Hi everyone, it's Tina from TSR Creations. Um, going to bring you a little something different today. So, um, first of all, I want to start off by saying thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing this for you. But, um, first of all, this was something I, um, this is a purse. It is an acrylic, clear little handbag. Um, they're adorable. They come with a chain, um, long strap. Um, they're really cute. But anyway, I saw this idea in a Facebook group. I can't remember her name. Um, if I can find the post, I will link it. Um, this is not my idea. I got this idea from somebody else, but, um, they, they come out really cute. And I thought I would show you how I make, I'm going to make it. So, I'm going to, um, so I spray painted this black. Um, I just used uh, Rust-Oleum. Um, I did this and then I taped off the one side and the rim because it's a gold rim around here. Um, this is gonna be a couple different, pro obviously it's gonna be a couple different steps to this. So um, the first step is to just do the one side. It has to let it dry completely. And then I'm gonna have to um, seal it. I'll probably seal it and then do the other side. So um, come along with me and we'll make the, um, you know, do this for you. This is gonna be um, a process again, like I said. So first things first is I'm gonna choose my colors. I am going to use, because this has a gold trim, I'm gonna use 24 karat gold by DecoArt. I'm going to make these in blues with the black background. Um, I'm going to be using Artist Loft Ultramarine, Artist Loft's Turquoise, and I'm going to use a little Payne's Black. Um, and I'm going to be doing a little flip cup, I think. I think. All right, let's get started. I'm going to pause it for a minute, and then we'll get stuff together, and we'll go. Okay. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to put a little of the Payne's Gray on the bottom of my cup. Go with the Turquoise. Now I'm going to put a couple drops of silicone, I think. Oh, do I want silicone? say and then I'm going to do oh let's do the gold next I don't think I'm gonna do silver because the gold always gives it nice cells we don't really need all that much paint for this this is the ultramarine I'm just layering them I'm really not sure how I'm gonna do this yet <laughs> I'm gonna put a little black Paints gray one more. Uh, let's do the turquoise one more time. I'm gonna have a lot of paint here, but paints gray and the gold again, I think. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna have to scrape it, see if I like it. Um, maybe I'll do a like a pour like.
Okay. I kind of like the black here, but I'm gonna go slow. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm talking a little low. I have a little bit of a hoarse throat today. Wow, this is so pretty. The gold in there is just so pretty. So I'm, I'm going to stop right there because I don't want to ruin most of that design. Um, I'm going to add a little black here so it can move. And I might leave it. Oh, there you go. That's what you do. See, I always do something different. Okay. I'm going to take my straw and first of all, I'm going to get around the edges here. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Okay. And I'm just going to blow. So this is really pretty. Hope you can see it. Um, I can lift it up for you. Just want to make sure my sides are all done. Now, the good thing is I painted this black, this, this spray paint. So, always. Oh, just dropped some key. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my God. All right. So look at that. Look at the gold. And I didn't put any silicone in here. And I got some cute little cells going on. Some cute, uh, action that's the gold and look at the reflection can you see that oh my gosh this is going to be so cute all right so that is pretty much it for this step i gotta get the black down there um So that's pretty much it for this step. I have to let this dry and it's gonna have to dry probably like, I'm probably gonna let it dry for at least a week before I go ahead and touch it. Um, then I'll probably give it one good seal coat on this side and flip it over and I'm gonna have to tape this side and retape it um, and do the other side. And I'm going to get something completely different on the other side. I'll, obviously, I'm going to use the same colors. Um, but it's just going to be a little little piece of art. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. This is so cute. Um, these are fun to make. I will give, I will link I have all my supplies where I got everything in um, my video link. And um, all right. So we'll see you for the next step. Have a great one. Well, don't have a great one. I'll be back. All right, so I am back. Um, got the second part of the purse. So what I did was I took, um, I, I sealed the other side, the side that I had done, um, and retaped it. Sprayed the clear side black, and I'm ready to pour on it again, okay? So what we did last time, just move this out of the way. We did. We start it with a little of the Payne's black, or the Payne's gray, I'm sorry. And then we start it, did a little of the turquoise. 
24 karat gold by Decoart. Little of the ultramarine blue. Tiny bit of black, artist loft. And then I did turquoise, I believe. A uh, little paints gray. A little bit more gold. And a little bit more of that one, of the ultramarine. Okay, and that's all I did. And I'm going to, see if you can see it, okay. And then I, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I layered all the paints in my cup. Um, I couldn't remember if I poured it on or if I flipped it over. So um, I layered all the paints and then I poured it on. So I'm going to pour it. And then I kind of drug my cup through it. Okay. Now each side is going to be a little different. But that's, you know, that's the nature of our art, right? I'm going to torch it a little bit. Moving it around. This side, this side's going to be a lot bluer, I think. I might have to add a little bit more black. I'm just going to put a little black on here so it runs a little bit more smoothly. Just touching up the sides a little bit. Hmm. You see any holes? Just touch it with your finger. Okay. I like this side a little bit better than the other side, actually. Much more color, much more blue um, and purple. Okay. So now this one has to sit and cure. And um, when I'm done, I will show you how I do the um, sealer on this side. And then we'll be done. These are so cute. And even if I just keep it for myself. All right. All right, so we'll be back when this is cured and I can put the sealer on it, all right? See you soon. All right, so I'm back and I have my finished 
little handbag. Um, this is the first side. Um, came out really pretty. There's some little imperfections, but you know what? It's handmade. Um, so this side is complete, the first side. And then this side I have to finish the, the um, and I'm gonna show you how I do that, how I seal it, because this, this side is finished. So I'm just gonna put it on here and get my other glove on. And I'm going to seal it with Liquitex high gloss varnish. I already had one coat on here, if you remember, because I had to do it before. And then I use a um, sponge brush. So I'm just gonna pour it on. And I'm gonna lightly go over it. Trying not to get brush strokes, but it's kind of hard. And then I'll just get the sides. Lightly, really lightly. Okay. So that's good. That's all it needs. I might have to do two coats, but um, just showing you the one coat right now. Um, and then I'll just, if there's any little bubbles, just take your heat gun and lightly pop it. And that's it. And that's it. And I have my little handbag. It's really cute. They're fun to make. Um, even, um, I've made a couple other ones. I'll show you. Well, I made one other one. Um, it still needs to be sealed. But I made this one came out cute and again it's not going to be perfect um, I'll clean that up with some alcohol um, but they're really cute oh. See? little handbag and it comes with a really long chain so you, you can um, use it as a clutch or you can use it as an over-the-shoulder um, but I think it came out really cute I did spray this but I still need to seal it with Liquitex all right so if you want to make a little handbag, watch the video and see how I did it. Um, it's a lot of taping because you don't want to get anything on the metal, you know, the paint on the metal. But um, like I said, it's not going to be all totally perfect, but they're really cute. Um, and I'll probably just give them as gifts, most likely. Um, I did one with resin, so I just did resin on it, and that one came out really cool, um, and I'm keeping that one for myself. <laughs> All right, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and um, I'm all trying to get to 500 subscribers, and when I do, I will be doing a giveaway to somebody. Um, maybe a little purse, <laughs> who knows? But um, Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.